Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about computer science degrees. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, should I go for a computer science degree here in the UK? Most people are trashing it and I'm aware that I won't make it won't make me much much of a better coder and I had and I had a choice most people are trashing it, trashing it and I am aware that it won't make me much more of a coder but should I go for it I'm sorry I'm paraphrasing now because I, the, the sentence didn't make sense to me but this person is from the UK and I'm from Sweden so I'm I'm, I'm just gonna default to that I am not I'm I don't understand the language well enough that ah, doesn't matter right so c root question should you get a c computer science degree in the UK well I wouldn't say that, that this matters so much whether or not you're in the UK or if you're somewhere else I would say that this very much comes down to it's a strategic choice for you uh, if you ask from the perspective of you want to be a professional software developer so technically there is nothing in the IT industry that requires you to have a degree you don't have to have one it's not like when if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that where you actually need a license or something like that it, this is not how it works the thing that you should know on the other hand is that the norm is that software developers have a computer science degree on average if th this is a few this is a few years ago but i can't imagine that this number has changed any in any significant matter uh, manner uh, the average is that 80% of professional software developers have at least a bachelor's degree in a computer science related or engineering related or science related in the degree of some sort that is uh, in, uh, in a field sorry in a computer science related field or similar sort of thing <laughs> and then there is about I think 10% have or was it more than that? Around 10%. This is from Stack Overflow's report from 2018, if I remember. About 10% have a master's, and the remainders are people who have like less education or like more uh, le uh, something different than that. So that number should tell you something. That sure, you don't have to have a degree, but 80% of us have something like that something like a bachelor's degree and the thing is I think that that is a very interesting number in of itself because if you look at the average experience level requirements on practically all jobs that you will find you will see that the required experience level is around one to five years for practically every position even entry-level jobs might have something along those lines it's actually very rare that you find any job that have on like on the uh, on the on the posting no prior experience required that's it's almost it's f fairly rare in IT because most companies are looking for people who actually know more than like, something more than the absolute basic something that they can actually make money off of and that's something that can be very hard to understand when you're a beginner where you think that your you completing a single course on some online uh, programming bootcamp or something like that that that's going to make you a programmer i'm very sorry to say that that's not the case it's it takes more than that to put it into perspective if you wanted to be say a doctor the thing that you just did is more similar to you learning how to use a single machine or a, or like do CPR or something like that it is just one thing in a fairly wide range of things you would have to know in order to be a doctor or if you wanted to be a surgeon it's just, it's like you learning how to I don't know apply proper hygiene in the operating um, in, in the operating room it's just one thing right and most of the t requirements are and you are going to be bigger than that so <clears throat> the thing though as you were saying most people are trashing it so what I find interesting about that most people if that is actually true for, uh, you should ask these people I mean if you look at as I was saying if you look at the numbers statistically 80% of them are going to have a bachelor's degree so who are the people who are tr trashing the computer science degree well that's going to be your 10% 
are you re like I, I would really strongly strongly urge you if anybody is trash talking a computer science degree really check out where you're getting your information from like really do that before you take the advice of any of these people now I'm not saying that they're wrong but you're going to touch on that as well but before you l allow yourself to be emotionally swept away because that is basically what you're doing you have very little to go on when you have no experience really make sure that the person who is giving you advice is someone worth hearing out because trust me when I say this half of the reason my channel exists and half, like almost I think 80% of the questions that I get are related to people who are trying to figure out what's actually true like really quality of information and many times I get things like this where people say oh this person or this youtuber or something like that is saying that this is this and this is that but that seems kind of weird what's the truth and that's that's practically all I try to give you here I, I really do only try to say at least from my perspective what's going to be true and the truth is that if I can go, you can go and check this out today you can go directly right now to any of these reports and look at the education levels and you will get the actual information rather than sit and take it from me or take it from some other youtuber or take it from your friends and so forth like fuck all these people look at the numbers what are the numbers telling you go to the job postings what are the job postings telling you that's where the real information is so with that said I want you to understand that as I was saying you don't have to have a computer science degree but it will help and here's the key thing that I was saying earlier about this being a tactical thing for you if you like there's nothing that you can learn in the university that you will not be able to learn either on the job or on the internet or by yourself but you should know that it's not like the people who go and take a computer science degree. I mean, when I took one, do you think I just played around? Like I was just not doing anything? It takes time to learn all of this stuff. It takes a lot of time. And that's what the degree is there, so is there to give you. Sure, you can skip some of the extra fluff stuff because, because you know, I mean, in some cases you'll have to take courses if you take a full-fledged degree that may not be so relevant. So that's a benefit of not maybe taking a degree where you can really laser focus on the things that you are interested in but the time investment is still the same you're still gonna have to put in the work and the one thing that really gives you a benefit with a degree is that the degree is respected it has value and w it adds weight to your CV and this is the key factor now does that factor in enough when you're trying to get into the industry because some people who are self-taught and I will promise you quite a lot of them will tell you that if you are self-taught it is harder for you to get your first job it is harder for you to get taken seriously as a software developer that goes away I promise you it's gonna go away if you have one to five five years of work experience or something similar like that when you actually have done some serious work within the industry the, the degree that you have like nobody's even thinking about it anymore you think that my I mean nobody's even asked me about my degree since I don't remember last time we talked about it it's all about <clears throat> prior work experience because that is the gold standard that is what everybody's looking at but when you don't have that the next best thing is your education and if you have a really nice degree that adds weight and that weight, that's the thing that you have to decide if it's in the UK or if you're in Zimbabwe or if you're in, I mean, Stockholm or wherever you are, doesn't really matter. In your region, what do the companies who are hiring junior developers looking at? Because if they don't care about the degree, then you don't need it unless you do it for yourself. But if they do care about it, then you have to figure out how likely are they to overlook the degree can is there some way around it so what I want you to take away from this is that I can't tell you if you should get a computer science degree or not because I, I you mean from my perspective having the more education you have the better guys I promise you that you will learn a lot of stuff but on the other hand if you're gonna have to pay money or if you're gonna have to kind of wait with whatever you want to do and put uh, things on hold and go through this thing and you don't really want to do it then I can't sit here in good faith in good conscience and say yes you should do this thing but what I can tell you is that there are pros and there are cons to this decision so what you really should look at is not what your friends or some youtuber who is 
quote unquote self taught and for some reason has ma ma the main part of their revenue stream is coming from the fact that you're watching their videos instead of them coding, not going to say anything more than that, you need to look at the actual reality of your situation and that is found on the job postings and in the numbers like look at the numbers stating like what are the what's the education level what is the normal requirements and i promise you the numbers are probably still pretty much the same as they were in 2018 so start there have a look go and talk to some companies in your region try to figure out what what are their requirements and you might find out that you know what that degree actually does carry, carry a, a lot of weight and it's going to make a big difference for me when i want to have a job in my part of the world and in some cases you might find that actually you know what they're actually more interested in that i just know these technologies so maybe i could take some boot camps there and really learn that stuff and see how that goes it's up to you but i think that that is the best approach for you to figure this out have a great day